हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू वीएलएसआई पॉइंट सो गाइस इन टुडेज वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट कंपाइलर डायरेक्टिव एंड सिस्टम टास्क सो वेरी लॉग प्रोवाइड स्टैंडर्ड सिस्टम टास्क फॉर सर्टेन रूटीन ऑपरेशंस एंड दिस कंपाइलर डायरेक्टिव एंड सिस्टम टास्क मेनली यूज्ड फॉर राइटिंग द टेस्ट बेंच स्पेशली फॉर द सिमुलेशन पर्पस सो दिस इज द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ टुडेज वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट द सिस्टम टास्क इट हैज थ्री डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज इंटरनल वेरिएबल मॉनिटरिंग सिस्टम टास्क देन सिमुलेशन कंट्रोल टास्क एंड फाइनली सिमुलेशन टाइम रिलेटेड टास्क एंड देन वी विल टॉक अबाउट द कंपाइलर डायरेक्टिव सो इफ यू फाइंड माई वीडियोज यूजफुल देन लाइक द वीडियोज एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल शेयर इट विथ योर फ्रेंड्स एंड नाउ यू कैन ज्वाइन आर टेलीग्राम ग्रुप वी एल एस आई पॉइंट देयर यू कैन पोस्ट योर डाउट एंड डिस्कस दैट विथ योर ग्रुप मेट्स एंड ऑल्सो यू विल गेट सम आउटस्टैंडिंग मटेरियल्स देयर बाई यूजिंग दैट यू कैन प्रिपेयर फॉर द एग्जाम्स फॉर इंटरव्यूज एंड ऑल्सो यू विल गेट द जॉब अपडेट्स देयर सो ज्वाइन दैट टेलीग्राम ग्रुप एज सोन एज पॉसिबल सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड टू डेज वीडियो so our first topic is system task so there are some task and function which is used to generate the input and output during the simulation and it is represented by the dollar sign so the first category is internal variable monitoring system task in that we have dollar display dollar mo monitor dollar write dollar strobe so talking about the dollar display and dollar write so both the system tasks are used to print the messages but the difference is dollar display automatically adds a new line character to the end of its output however this dollar write don't add any new line character both dollar display and dollar write represents the current variable current current value of the variables talking about the dollar strobe so it displays the simulation data at a selected time that is at the end of the current simulation time when all the simulation events that have occurred for the simulation time and the dollar monitor is mainly used for the monitoring purpose each time a variable or an expression in the argument list changes the value the entire argument list is displayed at the end of the time step so for this purpose we use the dollar monitor here you can see the syntax all this dollar display dollar write dollar strobe dollar monitor same syntax is there in this double quotes you have to write the string format and then after comma you have to write the parameters which you want to print so we can understand it with the help of example so in this example you can see i have taken this new reg variable which is which is of reg type and then in this initial block first of all i have given this value one tick b1 to this variable new reg and then i have given the command dollar strobe dollar display and dollar write and this new reg value is also changed to zero so here you can see the format in double quotes you have to write the string format and then after comma you have to write the parameter value which you want to display so let's see the simulation result so here we'll get for this strobe the value is 0 why because see this dollar strobe is nothing but it displays the value at the end of the current simulation time so this new reg value earlier it is 1 but finally its value is changed to 0 so this dollar strobe represent the final value which is 0 then this dollar display represents the current value only so in this dollar display you will get this value 1 because it represent this current value not the final value and this dollar monitor since whenever there is any change in the value of variable it will print that value so earlier it was 1 and then it is changed to 0 so both the values will be printed in this dollar monitor command so here you can see first first it was 1 and then it is changed to 0 so in this manner you can use dollar strobe dollar display dollar monitor and dollar write in your verilog code while writing this test bench here you can see the dollar random so dollar random provides a mechanism for generating the random numbers it returns a new 32 bit random numbers each time it is called so the random number is a signed integer it can be positive or negative seed parameter controls the number that dollar random returns so it is mainly used for the stimulus then see the second category which is simulation control task so here we have dollar reset dollar stop and dollar finish dollar reset is used to reset the simulation process that is it returns the simulation back to zero time dollar stop is used to suspend the simulation and dollar finish is used to terminate the simulation 
सो वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस डॉलर स्टॉप एंड डॉलर फिनिस डॉलर स्टॉप सस्पेंड्स द सिमुलेशन मेन टू से यू कैन अगेन स्टार्ट योर सिमुलेशन आफ्टर सम टाइम बट दिस डॉलर फिनिस टर्मिनेट्स द सिमुलेशन मेन टू से यू कैनॉट रिज्यूम योर सिमुलेशन वंस यू विल गिव दैट डॉलर फिनिश सो दिस इज द बेसिक डिफरेंस नाउ वी विल टॉक अबाउट द थर्ड कैटेगरी विच इज सिमुलेशन टाइम रिलेटेड टास्क हियर वी हैव डॉलर टाइम डॉलर एस टाइम एंड डॉलर रियल टाइम so this dollar time represent the current simulation time as a 64 bit integer dollar s time returns current simulation time as a 32 bit integer and this dollar real time returns the current simulation time as a real number so you can understand these things with the help of this example so here you can see i have taken two examples in this example in this initial block i have given a value with this time delay 1.55 a equals to zero then again hash 1.55 a equals to one and then had at hash 50 dollar stop I am giving this in this always block I have given hash 50 clock equals to negation of clock so the initial value of clock was zero and then we are changing this value. Don't worry about this tick time scale. It is a compiler directive. This 10 nanosecond is the time unit and this one nanosecond is the time precision. and just forget about this logic this is nothing but a data type in system very log and here in this initial block i have taken this dollar monitor so here i want to print this time value for this i have taken dollar time then clock and then a value so let's see the simulation result so first of all this time was zero clock was zero and the initial value of variable a was unknown then it was 1.55 but we are giving this dollar time so dollar time will consider the integer value only it will not consider any real number so this 1.55 will be considered as 2 so this 2 into time unit 10 so it will be 20 nanosecond so at time 20 the clock value will be zero only and the variable a will be zero then at time 30 30 is what 1.55 plus 1.55 so it will consider as 30 so this 3 into 10 that will be 30 so at 30 clock will be 0 a will be 1 and finally after 50 we are just stopping uh, we are giving this dollar stop command but at hash 50 we are just negating the clock value so here you can see at time 500 we are getting clock equals to 1 because clock has negated at 50 time unit delay and a value is 1 So here in the second example, you can see only the difference is here. I have taken dollar real time instead of dollar time. So the difference will be in the simulation result. It will consider these real time values. So initially time was zero, clock was zero, and a was unknown. Then this one point five five will be considered as one point six because the precision was one nanosecond only. So one point six into this ten time unit. So it will be sixteen only. So at time equals to sixteen, clock is zero, a is zero. Then one point five Five plus one point five five, so it will be considered as three point two. So three point two into ten, so it will be thirty two. So at time equals to thirty two, clock was zero, a equals to one. Here we have given one, and then at fifty, it will be fifty into ten, which is five hundred. Clock has negated, and a value is one. So in this manner, you can use dollar monitor, dollar stop, dollar time, dollar real time, tick time scale, compiler directive while writing the test benches. Now we will talk about the compiler directive. So a compiler directive may be used to control the compilation of the Verilog description. We use this tick mark whenever we use the compiler directive. So in this video, we mainly discuss these three compiler directives: tick define, tick include, and tick time scale. So talking about this tick define it creates a macro for the next substitution it can be used both inside and outside the module definition and can be used in the source description by using this tick character and followed by the macro name so here you can see in this example tick define size 8 so this size is macro and here i am giving the value and then while writing the code i am using this macro only tick size i am not using this value of this size so the benefit of using the tick define is that you can change your verilog code just by changing this single line whenever you want to change the uh, value of this size macro just you need to change this one instead of 8 you can write 16 32 or 48 and rest of the code will be in terms of this size macro only so you need to change only single line and your entire code will be changed so this is the benefit of using tick define now we will talk about the tick include so this tick include is used to insert the entire content of a source file to another file during the compilation it is used to include global or commonly used definitions and tasks 
सो हियर यू कैन सी यू कैन राइट दिस टिक इनक्लूड एंड देन इन डबल कोड द नेम ऑफ द फाइल फ्रॉम विच यू वॉन्ट टू जस्ट इंसर्ट द कंटेंट you have to write the name of that file here so in this manner you can use stick include compiler directive in your verilog code at last we will talk about this stick time scale as you have already seen in the previous example we have used this stick time scale to define the time precision and the time unit so in this manner you can define tick time scale and then this is the time unit slash time precision so whenever you are writing a test bench you should define this tick time scale compiler directive otherwise the default value will be considered so in this manner we have completed today's video and the ppt credit goes to molik chauhan so thank you so much molik for creating this beautiful ppt so guys if you like our content if you like this videos then please subscribe the channel and share the videos with your friends join our telegram group and clear your doubts we will meet in next video till then goodbye take care